Hi everyone, I am here with Sailor today and we are going to read you the last chapter of Ungifted. I'm sad that it's over, but I'm really excited to see how it ends. Are you ready, Sailor? <gasps> yeah? All right, let's go. This is called The Last Chapter, Unlittered by Donovan Curtis. The image was fuzzy at first. Noah pounded the keyboard of his laptop and the picture solidified into a rugged face, obscured by goggles, a chin strap, and a heavy black helmet. Interference crackled over the audio and a loud motor roared in the background. Lieutenant Patterson? Noah ventured timidly. Louder, Lieutenant Patterson? My brother-in-law looked around in confusion. Who's saying that? Another member of the tank crew came into view, pointing out at us. Look, Brad, it's that kid from the YouTube, the one your baby puked on. Noah seemed pleased to be recognized. Nice tank, how is Afghanistan? Brad, it's Donovan, I piped up. We've got something to show you. Brad squinted through the goggles. Is Katie there? Is it happening? Katie leaned in front of the laptop. Hi, Brad. It won't be long now. The tank commander was excited. Turn the computer. I want to watch. Wonder what's happening. Noah swiveled the laptop, giving Brad a view of the sterile white walls at the clinic and also of Chloe, Abigail, Lateral, JC, and Kevin. At last, the image stopped on Dr. O's in, in his surgical mask. The other soldier opened his eyes wide. What's going on, Brad? Didn't this happen last week? Don't tell me they're going back in, the, in for the twin they missed. And he's referring to Katie's baby, right? Because Katie had a baby last week. So what could be happening right now? Noah made a final adjustment, providing a view of the patient. Beatrice the Chow Chow, fat and round, about to litter. Beatrice, Brad cried, his voice choked with emotion. It's daddy, hang in there, girl. And as his tank jounced along the Af Afghan terrain, Lieutenant Patterson watched, tears squeezing out from under the goggles at his beloved pet, as his beloved pet gave birth to six tiny puppies, onto the operating table. Compared to the four hours Katie had spent in labor, Beatrice had it easy. The whole thing was over in 90 seconds. They make dogs really fat, fast, commented Noah. They're beautiful, Brad, said Katie in a husky voice. You miss Tina being born, but I'm so glad you got to see these little guys. Noah spoke into the la laptop, Mike. Your signal is getting weaker. Are you near a mountain or something? That's classified, kid, Brad replied. I don't know who you are, but I owe you. Anybody who can Skype a tank in action has really got it going on. And I loved you and the robots behaving badly. The other soldier added admiringly. Then with a burst of static, Afghanistan went dark. Transmission lost, Noah reported. Should I hack into another satellite? No, Katie decided, leave them alone, they're working. That was how our human growth and development class turned into canine growth and development, at least for one afternoon. The decision was made to keep a puppy for baby Tina and find good homes for the others. Chloe adopted one dog. I was kind of glad about that. It gave me an excuse to stay in touch with her, you know, just to keep an eye on how Beatrice ki Beatrice's kids was getting along. Noah fit in better than I expected at Hardcastle Middle School. Some of that might have been because I recruited the Daniels, and the three of us formed a bodyguard unit to keep him from being wedgy to death. Who knows what would have happened without us? We liked him, and Sanderson was convinced he was a master of Dorkido, a secret martial arts practice, practiced only by geniuses. But Noah was the biggest dweeb who'd ever walked the face of the earth. And while he insisted on, uh, while he insisted he could be wrong again at any moment, it hap it hadn't happened so far. 
By special request from Oz, both Noah and I traveled by minibus to the academy three times a week for robotics. The plan was approved by Dr. Schultz himself, who was in a good mood because the insurance company had finally paid up and the gym was being repaired. What was left of Atlas had joined its... its when what was left of Atlas had joined its sphere in the administration building's basement. I hope I didn't have to polish that piece too. I still had five and a half hours of community service to go. Dr. Schultz had put boxes in all the schools solic soliciting suggestions for a new statue. I filled out a card for a, a Titanic memorial, a quiet nod to my ancestor and fellow survivor, James. Noah didn't mind spending a little time back at the academy because I was going too. And I loved the change of scenery and the, cha and the chance to hang out and ply my joystick in the lab. I never confronted Abigail about how she cheated, on, cheated for me on the test. She def definitely still hated me, but I had a sense that my reading on her personal grudge-o-meter had gone down a little. Maybe she was more comfortable now that all the cards were on, my, on the table. She was still smart, and I was officially ungifted, except for robot robotics part-time. We were working on heavy metal, our robot, for next year's competition. We'd be in the high school division then, and hopefully no one would remember whose entry had busted up the middle school meet. Tin Man's rampage would live forever in infamy. But maybe the team behind him would fade into the background Soon the riot would belong to Tin Man alone, and all the, that remained would be the question, what made that robot go berserk like that? Hey, I had that answer. It was the same wild impulse that could make a guy whack a statue in the butt, setting off a chain of events that reshaped the world, or at least my little corner of the world. It was the part of me that Ancestry.com couldn't explain. I was working to control it, but sooner or later, it would show up again and get me into twice as much trouble. You don't have to be gifted to know that. And that is the end of Ungifted. I would like to hear all of your thoughts about Ungifted. Uh, did you like it? Write a little reflection. You could comment below or you could comment on Google Classroom. Tell me if you liked it. Tell me why you liked it. Um, maybe what you would add to the ending to make it even better. I want to hear your thoughts. Bye, friends.